But with Snapchat, that one specifically is very interesting because it does go away. However, people are downloading them. They are taking screen grabs, then tweeting them out. Um, and then Periscope is a whole other thing that I think is going to continue to get more serious. Um, someone asked me earlier, is it overwhelming how many things there are? And it, it is at times. But I think Mm -hmm. So, um, so, so technically, I guess I'm an influencer, but really, the brand is a huge influencer. Clever, um, and at a company like ours, and at most other companies in our space, there is a person or a team of people creating content for specifically for Twitter, because what people want to see on Twitter is different from what they want to share on Facebook. It's different when they, from what they want to experience on YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I do handle all my own socials, for sure. I, I, I wish I had an assistant. Actually, I love, I love social media. It's so fascinating to me. I absolutely love it. Um, but at Clever, we have people uh, We have people that, that that's like their expertise, and they're amazing. I mean, th what you do is is a, is a skill set and it's only going to continue to get more respect as time goes on. It is. And the more authentic you can make it and organic within your programming, the better. But the viewers know and sometimes sometimes we'll just be funny about it and hope that the brand or the client is open to our ideas. Because really the more collaborative it is, the more successful it's going to be. And I definitely understand why some brands and some clients aren't there yet because it is still new. And ever, of course everyone should protect their brand. But I think it's in people's best interest to start sort of making concessions, working with these influencers to do something collaborative, because there's huge success from this kind of. I mean, we were talking about NYX earlier. Was that was that you? No. Okay, NYX is like a great example of a brand that really. I mean, I heard about it first through YouTube influencers. Now they're everywhere.